I see a garage sale. <gasps> what I'm looking for today, small things, interesting thing. You can now call me Snow White. That girl, that painting of a girl, of a woman, changed my life. I'm being so picky. We have entered a whole new era. Romeo looked at me and he was like, how much did you just pay for that vase? And I was like, oh. Good morning, Kinsley. Hi. How are you doing today? Do you want to tell us how you slept? Did you dream about anything amazing? You were running a lot in your sleep, so you were definitely chasing something. Yeah. Hi. You're so beautiful. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to a weekend vlog. I'm just inspired to keep filming. The last vlog that you saw, I filmed yesterday. Today is now Saturday, and I'm still working on the arches, and had so many ideas last night when I talked to mom. If you're a creative person, you know how valuable it is to have um, someone to bounce ideas off of, especially like when you do DIY projects and stuff. I always bounce my ideas off my mom because, you know, just like like minds. It makes you think of things differently. It's like what my mom sees versus what I see and how we can make everything better in both of our homes. You know what I mean? Like you just need that person. So Romeo does help. Like I'll get his opinion and stuff like, you know, like, oh, what do you think? And he pretty much always says, yeah, that looks good. You know, because he just supports me. I'm like, yeah, but like, help me make it better, you know? So my mom does that for me. I called my mom last night and we chatted about the arches and we were just kind of standing back from it and realized like the arches, I thought it was just me thinking that the ceilings, some of the ceilings in this house and the openings and things felt really short because the cottage has really tall ceilings and really tall entrance. Well, the, the entrance itself is a normal height, but it has all of the doors and windows. Well, the windows are really tall, but the doors have transom windows above them. So it gives this illusion that all the entrances at the cottage are really high. I was like, I don't know if I'm just like psyching myself out that these entrances feel smaller, but they definitely do. And when my mom said it, I was like, oh, okay, it is real. It's like a real thing. Mom had the idea. I was like, you could add trim. You can, you know, do something there. And I was like, but I just want to do it in the right way. Like, I don't want to just add trim to add trim. I want this house to you know, vibe with French country, French provincial, a little bit higher, you know, kind of like more polished, um, but still like rustic and lived in homey. And obviously trim is, can be very French. Oh, obviously. I love good trim. I just want it to be applied in the right way. I was like, okay, let me go down a rabbit hole. Let me look for some inspiration pictures. And so I found these two and it was like an immediate, like, whoa, we have to do trim. We have to make these more dramatic. That's my mission for today. How can we utilize this space to not go overboard? You know, I don't want to do a ton of work on things that we are eventually going to renovate out, but these, all the entrances are staying. The structure of the walls are staying here. Later on, when we do, in fact, make an entrance, another entrance into the kitchen from that front room, we'll just match it. The sun came out today again, and it's giving me life. I didn't realize how much like sunlight and my rose garden and nature like affects my moods, but it really does. Like I love a good cloudy, gloomy, rainy day. Sometimes, you know, a few times, but like the majority, I want sunshine. I want things happening. Also, you can now call me Snow White. Animals love me. Birds, bees, they love me. Well, bees hopefully won't see me. There has been a bird now. I don't know where she is. She's been coming and sitting on my windowsill right outside the, the window when I'm getting ready. It's the cutest thing. I will try and capture like It happens so fast sometimes that I can't capture it. Um, but she comes and she sits on the windowsill and she chirps and chirps. And she flies away and she comes back and she's singing to me. Call me Snow White. Living a fairy tale over here. Romanticizing my life because it's just fun that way. So I'm going to get ready. 
And I was meaning to get to the hardware store last night, but I just kept working on the arches. So I definitely need to go today before I start filming so that I can get these supplies and like figure out, you know, what I'm doing with the, with the arches. Yeah, I am going to give myself a ginormous boost of energy and nutrients and drink my AG1. Uh, big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I love this stuff. This stuff gives me like so, like I'm ready to go. So after I open a new packet, I keep it in the AG1 container in the fridge and it's just a scoop of powder in with eight or 12 ounces of water, depending on how much you want to add. Each scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients in just one scoop. So you just put that down in there, fill the rest. I do 12 ounces of water just so I'm drinking more water and shake. <laughs> it's literally the healthiest thing you can do for your body in under a minute like crazy. Our bodies all have the same baseline things that it needs, right? But we all get different things from food and, you know, our diets and uh, uh, maybe supplements that you take. So if you're a person that doesn't like to take vitamin supplements, you're going to love this stuff because of all of the amazing benefits that it has and all of the vitamins and minerals that it has in it. Helps with gut health because it has the prebiotics and probiotics in there. It helps with health, healthy aging, balance, and stress. I I see that it helps me immensely with energy. I always feel like I want to run a marathon after <laughs> I drink this stuff. And I've tried so hard to explain how it tastes and I just like can't put my finger on it. It tastes tropical to me. Yeah, tropical, I think. Oh uh, yeah, tropical. <laughs> Romeo drinks his in the morning. I drink mine later in the afternoon. Doesn't matter when you do it, just as long as you're doing it and you're getting the vitamins. So you guys can go to drinkag1.com slash vlogs to get started on your first purchase. And they're going to give you a one year supply of this AG vitamin. It's D3 and K2 and five of the travel packs. That way you can always make sure that you have them on the go. You can just throw them in lightweight. They're flat, throw them in your luggage so you can have them on your maybe summer vacation. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Uh, we're ready. You guys, I'm just driving along. I see a garage sale. I pulled over so quick. I was hoping that this guy was moving behind me so that I could park in his spot. And I think he is. I always get VIP parking everywhere. We're just gonna, you know, go to this really quick. Cause it's Saturday. I was, we, Romeo and I were just talking about that. We're like, oh, what, what? My car is very sensitive. Relax, I'm not gonna hit anything. We were just talking about it's like garage sale season, summer, you know, like, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I saw a lot of art, but I don't know what kind of art. We'll just go see. I love this. for 95 a piece. I won't do those. This is 15. This is 15. Let's see what else. All right. The art I don't love. There's nothing like you know, it jumps out of me. This one's kind of pretty. <laughs> that was so unexpected. Okay, I got two items. I got both of these things for 25 bucks. This was so cute. Look at the handle. The polka dots are interesting. I don't normally do polka dots, but I feel like it's like feels very collected. It's not like um, someone hand did it. It has a stamp on it, decorative use only, not watertight, uh, but no other like marking on it. But I just thought it was super cute. This, I don't think he even knew what it was because this is coach. <laughs> I mean, not like super high end or anything, we could kind of look up how much she was. Oh, the straps are in here. Oh, but see, they broke. They like came apart. I figured it had because the straps weren't here. But I kind of like that, you know, the handles like this for like my laptop and stuff. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. Both for 25. He had some art there, but I was like not into it. There was one piece that wasn't bad. Um, 
he kind of was sizing people up so i switched around my little <laughs> designer logo i heard him tell some lady he was like i know you have money you're wearing a, a yves saint laurent sweater and i was like oh I turned this around really quickly when I went to negotiate. I don't like that. I mean, they do size you up. That's why they say no, go, never go to the flea market, like super dressed up or anything. Okay, let's go to the hardware store. You guys, I was in there for so long. <laughs> like I needed to design what I wanted those little like trim kind of around about things to look like. The more and more I think about adding this trim, the more and more I feel like it's going to match the other part of the house because I'm like, why would you put trim in part and not in the other? And although they did do that in the cottage too, maybe didn't have enough budget to put it everywhere or something like that. But if I was gonna put it, I'd put it in the main room right when you walk in. I will of course do the cost out because I feel like that's so important even though prices do fluctuate. You know, right now wood prices are pretty good comparatively to the pandemic. You know, in 2020, I remember so distinctly going to the hardware store one day and a two by four was like three bucks. And then the very next day, they were $15 a piece. I remember that. Do you remember that? Okay, we're on our way home to do some projects. Wait, you guys, look how cute this picture is. It's so fun. The polka dots throw me. The shape is what got me, you know, like all this detail, but it's cute. I think it's kind of cute. It goes with like my collected kind of ceramic vibe. If you watched the last vlog, you saw that they, uh, mixed a paint for me that was a Glidden paint and it was called Dust Bunny. And the guy mixed a color called Dusty Bunny. I was like, Dusty Bunny? That's what was like, it was like so red. So if you watch that, I went back and they corrected it. They gave me, but they didn't have any more Glidden tinted, tintable things. Uh, so they had to color match it. So <laughs> you get really close when you do that, like excellent, but it's still not that color. So now I'll have to get the color match if I like this color. I bit the bullet on the color anyway. So we are going with Sculptor Clay. I love the name too. Kind of got me. Names are important. Dusty Bunny is not a good name. I also kind of decided on the way home that since this project is taking on a mind of its own, like I've been working on it for days <laughs> and I still want to add more trim and do things that I feel like it's just best if I upload a vlog on Sunday and then I have until Tuesday um, to work on this because this will be part two. So I wanna kind of like finish it, like my thought. You know, sometimes my thoughts and my, my creativity doesn't fit in a week. <laughs> you know, sometimes it just takes more time. It took me a long time to forgive myself for that. You know, like sometimes I'm just like, oh, I wanna pull every Sunday the renovation video, but the vlogs give me an opportunity to still have you know, fun content go live, but also complete my projects to where they're like feeling really good to me, you know? Let's test this. Even though I've always already fully decided. Oh, hello, Kinsley! Are you showing everyone your good side? You little tiny hiney? Hi. What did you do while I was gone? Did you get leaves in your hair when you went outside? Did you? You gotta you gotta sit down here. Kinsley, Kinsley! I've already fully decided to go with sculptor clay. Sit here with me. I had already paid for the sample. Watch me love it. <laughs> I'm like, I want dust bunny. I also got really good paint. I've just learned that it, yes, you can buy lesser expensive paint, but you have to buy more of it because you have to go over it multiple coats. I got the Mar Bear Marquee that's only a one coater. <gasps> We'll see if it's a one kit. I mean, this wall, these walls are already primed. It's like, I wanna go over them once and be done. It's less work and it's less of the pain. I don't know. I feel like it comes out the same price, so I might as well make it easier on myself. So this is Glidden Dust Bunny. This was the other color. Look, at, it's already so different. This is Dusty Bunny underneath. Hi, did you miss me? Hi. Seriously, watch me love it. I'm gonna be pissed. I'll put it up there, let it dry. It always dries darker. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, and if you haven't guessed by now what Sundays are for, 
there for flea markets. We have a flea market like every Sunday in LA. Today's Pasadena City College flea. It's the free one to get into. Uh, we're going pretty early, but I spent the morning just like finalizing my video to go live today. So if you haven't watched it, I'm really proud of the intro. <laughs> just like, you know, me over here romanticizing my life. I also got this dress. I got it from Zara. I got a box from Zara, actually. I actually saw a few cute things on TikTok that I wanted to order. Oh my God, it's so cute. I steamed it last night so I could wear it today. I just love dresses. They make you feel more put together. Little effort, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Look how cute this dress is. Like, it's so effortless. It's linen, so I steamed it. I also got these shoes. They're still connected. But I thought they were so cute. Like, look at that. I just want to make my thumbnail really quickly and then we'll be off. Okay, we're on our way to the flea. My video live. Got our wagon, got our wagon. Yeah, got our wagon. I don't know what I'm looking for today. I really love to find chairs that are a tad smaller, um, that are a little more French provincial, um, and use the swivel chairs in the other room or figure it out. Um, so we're gonna look for chairs. Always gonna look for a coffee table, even though I found that one that we can upcycle. And small things, interesting things. It's always bad when I'm keeping my eyes open for just anything, because then I'm like, oh. Oh my God, yes, yes. I free what? That. Oh, bag? that's free. Free shopping bags. No. Oh. Free shopping bag? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, I that's thought it was cool. free food. It looked like one of those little hot dog stands. Yeah, it's free shopping bags. Oh man. best price was on that little painting of the dog and he came down to 125 and I was like I'll do it it's precious I, something about it I really really liked so we got her I just got the most incredible piece of art. I'm now getting really into art, not only that I just like, but also holds value. And just doing research before I make the purchase, and this one was stunning, I'll show you. It's kind of the back, it's so old, from 1873. Um, but it's kind of falling apart, so I'll show you later. Okay, so we've made it to the other side of the market. The first side's like the largest and then you have like the inside. I love this market because part of it, like a good portion of it is inside. So like, especially during the summer, like you can be inside, it's so much cooler in there. Um, it's just like more enjoyable. And this market is free to get into. If you find street parking, it's free free. If you park in the garage, it's $2 to park. Um, but we're made it to the other side. I have not seen any furniture. We talked to one of the vendors and she also um, follows the, the vlogs and stuff and she said that 
furniture doesn't sell well here so a lot of the vendors don't bring it so we do have an opportunity next week is Rose Bowl <laughs> obviously there's gonna be furniture there whether it's gonna be the furniture that style that I like or not not I don't know but I did get some goodies some really like quality artistry goodies you know like artist goodies though see what we can find over here this side's like a little smaller I'll be back baby got cucumber drinks That looks so similar to the one we have at the cottage with the roses on it. This is the only furniture that I've seen in mid-century modern. The only booth. Kind of pretty though. But not Hello cool. guys, it's the next day. I got home. We, we got home from the flea market last night. I was tired. I, you know, being out in the sun all day. Sun finally came out this weekend and over the last like couple of days, but it is so gloomy today. It was raining, sprinkling this morning, and it is so cold. <laughs> I think it's in the 50s right now, which is, I mean, drastic from yesterday. It was like high 70s, almost 80 um, at the flea market. So I was so tired yesterday. I was like, I just wanted to like sit down and only move my fingers. I was doing like computer work and stuff until pretty late. Um, but we had to do a haul. Definitely looking for when we were at the flea market chairs and rugs um, I looked at a couple of rug vendors but I didn't see anything that I like I want something a little more moody for this front room the rug is just like too icy I knew that I already had the rug I decided to keep the rug I got it from home goods I decided to keep the rug because I was like you never know and I actually really do like it but for my own personal right now in that room i need something a little more moody but i didn't see anything i liked at the flea market i want chairs for that room but the ones i have just aren't it it actually i actually didn't order them for that room i ordered them for the other room to swivel to the tv because i wanted to see that kind of style and that swivel for the front room i'd like to find something more french provincial uh, smaller in scale, like height and width wise, so that they can easily be moved to another area of the house. Like once we do renovate in a few years um, and turn that into a formal dining room right when you walk in, we could move those two chairs to like the bay window in that room and it could be a little seating area. We could do it in this bay window, like looking out over the pool. We just two, two chairs are like, that are easily, moved around. They didn't have any, really, just one booth had furniture. We'll find it. I feel like the best rooms are curated over time. So what I did find though is art. That girl, that painting of a girl, of a woman that I got at that estate sale changed my life, I feel like. She has given me a new outlook on the type of art that I am procuring. And I'm not only now looking for art that's pretty that I like that has a good frame, I'm now looking at it to have value. We have entered a whole new era. It has sparked something in me to just want to research everything I find and like be on a mission in life to find amazing deals on really quality pieces. <laughs> now I'm not talking art like, I'm not, we're not uh, like Picasso era. Also, you guys, I thought you were joking when I saw some comments on a recent, actually that video. I thought you guys were joking when I said that Mona Lisa was painted by Picasso. I was like, what are they talking about? I didn't say that, that's not true. Just like, not even like, what? I had to go back and watch the video and it does, I did say that. But in my defense, I was not thinking clearly. <laughs> I was not thinking, Picasso and Mona Lisa. I was thinking about them separately and in reference to artists painting female versions of themselves in their, in their paintings. And so I think it was just a compilation. I don't know, my thoughts were jumbled. Clearly I know that the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Um, <laughs> that was a, that was a fumble of words. I apologize. I apologize to Leonardo da Vinci. I apologize to the Mona Lisa. That's embarrassing. Anyways, we are not at that level to where we're buying Picassos, but 
I did find some good pieces that we will look up. If you know anything about me, you know I gravitate towards moody and I gravitate towards, um, I love uh, honey dogs, English setters, any kind of have a beautiful one in the cottage kitchen. I found this. And he's striking and beautiful. All the colors, everything. I was like, I love this. The only thing I was like looking at his, he looks like he just smelled something really intense. Like he is going for it. Look at his expression. Like he's like, oh. I like, I'm on it. I know where it is. I'm going to find it. I apologize if I butcher any names, I'm still learning, but it's called Brace, B-R-E-I-S-E. -E. Now what I was doing at the flea market is um, looking at something, taking what they, taking in the information that the vendor was giving me, um, sometimes and always with a grain of salt because I'm, I don't know until I do my own research what to be fact, but he had pulled up uh, the name of the artist and was oh, showing me some things. Um, and then I stepped away and did my own research while he was helping other people um, and found um, similar works by this artist. And I'm doing a couple quick searches right now and all I'm getting is the other artist, um, which is equally as <laughs> beautiful. But this one, so pretty. I mean, just everything about it. I'm gonna do some more research. He wanted 200 for it, but I got it for 125. Okay, something at the flea market that was really working in my favor was what's your best price? Now that's my go-to negotiation. That's all I can really do. It's like, I can't really haggle unless I'm really in the mood for it. And so I was like, what's your absolute best price? He wanted 200 and then he goes 125. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's $75 off. That's wild. Went around the corner, kept looking, came across. Now I have to fix the back because it's very old. I need, I wanna do it to where it matches the style, like use the old nails and things. I love me a good moody landscape. Look at this. I loved this so much. The colors that were used, very old. Now the frame isn't as old as the painting. Um, you can kind of tell, old, still vintage, but not quite antique. The painting is by a man named Frank Pinfold and this wasn't painted in 1973. This was painted in 1873, which means that this oil painting is 100, 150 years old. 150 years. Frank or Francis Crawford Pinfold, remembered for his genre of landscapes and portrait paintings. Um, he's actually an American artist, but he lived and passed later in Paris. He was, let's see more information about it. He was born in 1849 in Lockport, New York, but then lived in um, France. And I think he painted the majority of his paintings in Brittany. When we were looking, we saw pieces go to auction because he had one of those subscriptions on this piece. We saw things go for auction between like 800 and 1500 that was like the range especially like this is like a smaller one this one was a little higher i remember when we were doing research at the flea market but like all of his art is just so beautiful so these were between like the the thousand mark now these aren't like super high-end pieces this frame kind of cuts off his his name or maybe he wanted it to i can't quite tell in the corner so obviously do more research I've just been in that mindset of just trying to level up my knowledge and research more about the pieces that I'm finding. We had an accident. I'm so, so devastated for like a while, actually. It was pretty sad because you just, you go through all the effort to curate and like find things that you really like and then you pay for them. And then for them, like for something like this to happen is just sad. So we were coming from the flea market and we went over a whole bunch of bumps and things. And then we got home. I did it. I opened up the door to get my things and these two plates that I bought fell out. One of them broke. I was so sad. Now one would think, oh, this is now trash. McKenna thinks about all of the other things that she can use with chipped china. <laughs> I was actually at an estate sale here in Los Angeles. Um, the beautiful one, remember the pretty house that we went to? Outside, they had vases that were made and then they had put pieces of chipped china in the clay to make like a design, kind of a mosaic kind of look. 
And I was like, oh, that would be so fun. I love like the cornflower kind of blue. I've been obsessed with this color lately. Cornflower blue color. And we can, you know, make a little pot out of it and save it. So I am not throwing this away. We'll do a little summertime DIY project to make a little vase out of them. So we've got one plate. Very cute. So I got both of them for 15. Uh, he wanted 20, he came down to 15. I told you guys and I told myself that I would limit myself from buying brass because I have a lot of brass elements. But look how cool this base is. Look how big. And the feet are like claw, claw foot. Oh, I and it's heavy. I thought this was so cute. They wanted 15. I had $12 cash exactly. So he said yes for 12. You know, I always look at old books. Again, cornflower blue. I'm, this color is like in my dreams. I see it all the time. It's crazy. So this call, this, this book I was like passing by, it's like Children's Bluebird, Madame Maurice Matterlink, The Land of Memory. And I was like flipping through it. It was, <laughs> I don't know why, it was it published in 1913. And I was like reading the first page and it was a, it, this was a short story on the woodcutter's cottage. It's like once upon a time, a woodcutter and his wife lived in their cottage on the edge of a large and ancient forest. They had two dear little children who met with a most wonderful adventure. And I was like, oh, that's wonderful. And I closed it and I put it back and I was like, what do I need that book for, McKenna? Why are you buying that? It's an old book. Like I have books, let's just put it back. And then I stopped and I turned around and I went back and I picked it up. I was like, I would be dumb not to ask how much it was. And she said, $2. I'll take it all for two dollars just for two dollars for just make me smile like reading the first like couple of pages i was i was into it and then i bought one more thing i was on a mission to find some vases i had remembered that was something i wanted to look for because i have been putting my flowers in drinking glasses that's not exactly i, I mean it works don't get me wrong but i'm like i think we could do better than this uh, so I remember seeing this little lady that had a booth there uh, that had um, like artistry pottery. Now, if you have ever taken a pottery class and made things like Drew and I went into pottery classes together for a couple of weeks in a row and we ended up abandoned. If, if anyone ever gets a hold of our creations, uh, we never went back and got them. <laughs> uh, we just, I don't know, it was, you know, during the pandemic and like everything, like we just were like, we moved on. I went back to Texas. Like it was like a whole thing. If you've ever taken a pottery class, you can appreciate the amount of time and energy and effort it goes into not only making the piece, but actually cleaning up the mess that you make afterwards. It's, it's a whole situation. I have a lot of respect for that now. And this piece was really pretty. And when you see it, you're probably going to be like, you could probably buy that at Target. This is handmade. And this is a um, Bauer vase. It's Bauer pottery. I made her write it down for me. Uh, this is by Fred Johnson. Really pretty. It had some crackle. You can see all the ridges here. You can tell that it's just handmade. It was a sweet little vase. I may have paid way too much money for this, but I loved the little lady that was selling it. And I just, something about her made my heart so warm. Romeo looked at me and he was like, how much did you just pay for that vase? And I was like, $75. He goes, I was like, she was so nice. It's not something mass produced. It's it's something that is handmade actually locally in Highland Park. I needed it. So we're gonna put flowers in it because it's just what's going to happen. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that this didn't break. I'm so glad it was that that fell out of the car instead of this. I love that. I even keep all the petals around just cause, just cause I just love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'll have it forever. You know, and I'll always remember the little sweet lady. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and spending the weekend with me. It actually ran into Monday, today is Monday. I will see you guys again very soon for another one, another renovation video. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day working um, on the um, arches and things. If you have not seen that, it will be live by the time you see this. If you have not seen that, please go watch it. I am so proud of the direction that the arches took. It, they took on a mind and design of their own and I just kept adding until I got something that I was really proud of. Can I say you wanna say bye to everybody? We wanted to say goodbye and we hope you have a great week. 
And we can, huh? What is that side I look for? Huh? I think it's about to rain again. I love you. Oh.